welcome back to another video guys and i've been terrible at filming stuff today so i'm out at evergreen raceway again for basically our june event and here it is we are lined up to take the boat on its first i mean we call them mini comps so this will be a uh, it's a very simple comp style if you watch my april evergreen event I ran it then just in the general Lee car, but this will be the first time the boat is going out in an actual competitive setting. Now, this morning hasn't been, uh, I will say the smoothest, because I definitely ripped the side of the boat off twice, zip tied it back on together twice, and uh, I'm really hoping for better results out of, uh, out of the actual comp, because this, it's been a, I won't say a rough morning, but not ideal. But let's get into it. I don't even know who I'm running first. I think it's a Z. So we'll uh, run with the punches as they come. <laughs> so it looks like I'm first battle. So, yep, nerves are there. No idea what's going on. in the boat and we took home a win uh, I don't know what it looked like from the outside I felt like I was a little behind him on my follow I wasn't as close as I wanted to be but my lead I felt pretty good so I'm gonna hopefully we have uh, footage of that from the outside that I'll be able to put in here and we'll look at those runs but I'm stoked on that boat Getting ready to head up to second run. Of course, it just started drizzling. I can't get my top up, so either way, I'm gonna be wet and it's a boat. So it's one of those, I guess, uh, you know, is what it is, but rain and comps is not ideal.
looking up boat parts for your entertainment. Oh, Dave, don't be so stern. Well, this will be my final time announcing, officially announcing my resignation. Oh, whoa, all right, we're in the battle. Ruben looks like he's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Brandon laying down a lead run. It looks like Brandon's just saying goodbye to his peers right now. It's all good, though. It's all good. <laughs> uh, we'll save some for the finals. So the rain's coming in, which it seems to always rain at the comp. I won that second battle. I think he spun in the chase, uh, just coming in on initiation. I'm not sure if I screwed him up or what happened, but he wasn't there. So uh, somehow I move on again, and the boat's going to round three. This is how bad it's gotten. I'm sitting in another car because, well... I need a drill to get the wood off to be able to get to my top. So my car is just getting soaked right now. I'm drenched. It's still pouring. We're still running though. So we're, uh, I'm gonna go get back in my uh, soggy ass seats and um, go for round three against this guy, Kenny. He's, uh, it's an LS car. He pretty much always wins these, so unless the rain and the boat trip him up, probably not going to make it through this one, but it's, it's wet. It's the boat's perfect weather. Maybe I'll pull something, you know, make it work. Who knows? Those are puddles of standing water. The sun's coming out before my next run, but uh, it's definitely wet. So. A lot of tire pressure, not a lot of grip. I have no idea how this is going to go. Big old ball spinning around. Stern, stern, very The stern is dead. All right, getting right there on his ball. Nice transition into outside zone two. Brandon running with a nice line. Kenny, Kenny, he's struggling with some grip in the rain. Milling outside zone three nicely, and here is where Kenny usually strikes right into the hairpin. Is he going to leave a tire mark on the boat? Looking like, oh, ooh, red for Kenny. Oh, finding traction in the rain. Not Proximity 
nicely done through outside zone four. And crazy to see that thing just pocketing over the ground still. Still not over it. And across the line. So close. <laughs> I thought, I mean, if I had done my follow first, I felt amazing. That lead, it just turned to ice and it just spun. Okay, so I guess I have to battle for third, so I'm not completely out of it. So I'm either getting third or fourth. So, but I definitely lost that battle. I spawned on initiation, took a face full of water in the, you know, chase, but uh, it was just one of those, like, bank felt good, and then all of a sudden it just turned to ice and I just couldn't save it. So, could have run out of angle. Sometimes the tires will hit the outside of the boat and then pretty much stop the front tires and spin you around. So, I got out of the way. We didn't have an accident. It's all matters. But I guess I'm going up next for uh, third. So let's get after it. All right, so going up for that uh, third place battle. Um, I'm up against the uh, same guy that I lost to in my first ever event, which was, you know, uh, just a month ago. So we're just going to see how it goes. said I couldn't be happier with how today went it was the day's not even over but how the comp went it was perfect um, I'm wet I'm still wet my seats are wet like everything is moist but it's it's a boat it's supposed to get wet and I think that definitely you know gave me my advantage at least you know third place for a ridiculous like it's not a comp car and some of these cars we were running were definitely on those levels so great time um it's mini evergreens mini comp it's just kind of it's an entry level into comp stuff so i'm super happy about it um i don't know if i'll run the boat again or not anytime but it's awesome that uh this was a good one now we're just gonna get back to regular it's just another drift day so <laughs> a couple uh you know running tonight and then we're gonna run all day sunday my seats dry out because when I woke up this morning these things were still soaked after yesterday's fucking downpour.
cruising home here on Sunday, and it was another fantastic weekend of driving. Uh, I didn't capture it because I just didn't do a good job. I just kind of wanted to, you know, enjoy it. But I hit some tractor tires uh, two different times, probably the same tire, and broke the boat in half. Zip tied it back together, it's just kind of an annoyance. And then today, uh, one of the buddies tapped, you know, the back. It wasn't real hard, but it also then broke the boat in half again. And then we uh, zip tied it back together. All is all's good, but it's just one of those annoyances that it's good to have an engineered failure point there. Because I don't want it to mess up the fiberglass, but it's just annoying to have to re-zip tie everything back together again. Um, definitely had a great weekend. Uh, the comp still, you know, third place in the boat's first comp. It'll probably be the boat's only comp, but it was just one of those. I just had to do it just for the fun of it. To say the drift boat went through a comp, it couldn't, you know, had a great time. So, <laughs> for this one, we're uh, probably going to end it here. Uh, like I said, we're on the way home. I had some, you know, video in from the day, Sunday, and uh, just a lot of driving video in this one. So, for right now, this is your Captain out.